Welcome to the Macros for Life podcast, where we talk all things macros, business, and marriage. We are your hosts, Eve and Randall Guzman. Visit our website at www.gtransformationacademy.com, where you can download our free How to Track Macros guide. This guide has helped over 15,000 people start their macro tracking journey. Hey, you guys, it's Eve, your favorite macro coach. You know what I've been thinking, you guys? I've been in the coaching space for nine years, and I've seen it all. And if you guys have been around for just the past couple of years, you guys have seen one-time macro counts. It is probably in the top five topics that coaches ask me when they're looking for business coaching of my opinions on one-time macro accounts. Well, you're in the right spot. I'm going to give you guys the breakdown on all of the things that I think about one-time macro accounts, including the positives and the negatives. But before we get started, I just want to talk about a couple of things related to my experience with them. That way you're not judging my final decision on what I would say and what cases to use them. But I started coaching doing Herbalife meal plans. Then I progressed to calorie-based meal plans, then macro-based meal plans. And then I got into the full gamut of coaching with macros with one-time macro counts. Yes, I have been doing one-time macro counts since early 2017. If you've seen them for the last year or two, just know that I have known about them and I have been using them in some capacity on and off for the past six years. Yes, I am an OG macro coach. But yes, we were doing one-time macro counts, um, uh, first-time macro programs like Macros 101, group coaching macro programs, one-on-one macro coaching programs, memberships, you've name it, name it. So I've seen all of the things when it comes to macro coaching. So when it comes to these one-time macro counts, let's get to the pros and the cons. If you are new here, um, this podcast is both for coaches and non-coaches, so I'm going to give you guys the rundown on the pros and the cons for both the coaching side and for both the client side. And I know most of the, of you guys that have been coaches have been a client at some time. So you guys are going to get a lot out of it. If you are a coach and you have never hired a coach, this will be great perspective for you. Even if you guys have not joined macro mentorship, which is fast approaching, Make sure you guys get on the wait list because a lot of this type of advice and mentorship that you're going to get from me today, you guys can get that over there. So one-time macro counts, pros and cons. A one-time macro count is exactly that. It is where there is an exchange of a service where a nutrition coach gives someone their macros for said goal. That goal may be fat loss, it may be maintenance, it may be a surplus, bulk, body recomp, whatever it is, but you are giving them their protein, carb, fat, and calorie recommendation for a goal that they typically submit um, through email or some type of form. And the coach is spitting that out. And there's, in most cases, not a lot of extras, but we'll go through that in the pros and the cons. Um, One-time macro counts, when I started doing them, you guys, they were $20. My meal plans were $20. Everything was like a $20 holler. Um, So the pricing that I see one-time macro counts go for now is anywhere from about $40 to $199. The $40 ones, um, they could be something that's on sale. It can be a newer coach. It can be a coach that just wants a lot of volume. Um, On the higher end, some coaches are doing add-ons with it, but I would say the average price that I see is about $75 for a one-time macro count, but probably not that price if you're one of our coaches inside of the macro mentorship program. So let's go through the pros and let's start with the coaching pros. So what are the pros of adding a one-time macro count to your, your business? So if you're new to macro coaching and you're wanting to get more experience, this is a great way to get a lot of experience fast. This will help you get experience on setting macros um, for clients 
Also getting some systems in place of how do you get that client to buy the macro account? How do you get the information? How do you deliver it? Um, what type of format is it delivered in? If you're doing 10 one-time macro accounts in one week, you're gonna get a lot of experience of getting them in your business and out of your business um, very quickly in one week. If you're a newer coach, it may take you a month to get your very first client. So if you're wanting to get all hands on on experience quickly, a one-time macro count is some is a way for you to be able to do that. Also, if you are a coach that wants to help people, but you are in a busy season of your life, or if you have a full-time corporate job, um, you can do one-time macro counts because you're busy doing other things in your life, but you're still able to help people. You can get them in, get them out, get them their one-time macro count, and still be able to help people without saying, I'm too busy to do so. One-time macro counts can also be great for coaches who have a full coaching roster but people need help. Maybe they have a wait list that's two months, three months, four months. This is something I have went through in my business constantly. A one-time macro count can be a way to extend a hand and help someone when you cannot take them on um, full time. Um, other busy seasons where you may not be able to have that capacity, maybe around like wedding planning, maybe it's holiday season um, and you don't want a full roster. Same thing. A one-time macro count can be a pro for a coach. Also, one-time macro accounts can be a cash injection in your business for one month, one week, or however often you do it. Let's say you're doing um, 25 one-time macro accounts and they're $75 each. That is a quick way to inject some cash in your business um, and it has less accountability tied with it. So if let's say something happens in your business um, and you need to afford a purchase of a platform and you feel maybe the best way to afford something that you need to build within your business without taking on more clients is opening up one-time macro accounts for a month to make some extra money, get a cash injection in your business and get those funds without having to sacrifice taking on 20 new full-time clients. This is a great way to do a cash injection in your business, or maybe you need a cash injection in your life because something has happened like your air conditioner or um, your water heater went out and it's more of a, a move that you have to make for your home and your lifestyle. Um, One-time macro accounts are also a way to test out your marketing. If you're changing industries, you're changing niches, maybe you have never actually launched without saying the link in my bio to apply, and you want to try out doing marketing emails, a funnel, and or different types of posts or captions, and you want to see how well you have gotten in um, the marketing realm with your audience, doing one-time macro accounts is not something you have to commit to business wise for a long time. You can do them for a couple months. You can have them as a 72 hour special. You can do them for one week and you can test your marketing out. And it's not something that you have to have as a core part of your um, product suite. And if you don't like it, it doesn't do well, you can pull it and no one is going where these one-time macro counts because they they typically know as a purchasing client that they're not something that a coach has all year round. Um, the next item on the list for a pro as being a coach is you can help more people with less commitment. Um, maybe your goal is to try to help 100 people this year and you don't have the room or you just don't have the bandwidth to take on more people. It's okay. Life has its ups and downs. Even though you want to help more people, you may not have the mental and emotional capacity to take on more clients. This allows you to help more people with less commitment. Maybe you need more boundaries. You want to help people, but you aren't in the place to have one-on-one -on -one interaction 24-7 with 
with your clients, but you still want to help people, this is a way to do it with less commitment. Um, those are most of the pros that I can come up with for coaching. Um, but I'll definitely share, share more on the macro mentorship Instagram account if I think of more. Pros with the client are pretty self-explanatory. They're affordable. They're cheaper. Um, you get a quick start. It's going to be quicker to get a one-time macro count turnaround than a full program, them onboarding you into portals, um, you as the client waiting for your programming with workouts and all of those things to be done, maybe a pre-start call, an onboarding call, but it's quick start. And it really lowers the barrier of an access to work with a coach. It's also great if you're someone that wants to hire a coach, but you're not quite sure if you want to do a three or four or six month coaching commitment. And maybe you're just nervous. Maybe you're jaded because someone's burnt you before. Trust me, it happens to the best of us. But it's a low accountability um, way to just get started quickly. There are people out there that have a lot of experience with macro tracking with or without a coach. And sometimes they want to just buy a one-time macro account and run these numbers by themselves. They're experienced. They know how to track. They have a great mindset. Um, they understand, understand weight fluctuations um, and they understand what could be expected of them to do this by themselves. And there are people that love low accountability. So a one-time macro account can definitely be for a pro for a client that doesn't want to work with a coach long term. So I listed all of the good things. Now let's get into some of the cons. Because with anything positive, there's probably something opposing that we have to um, explore and consider. Let's start with the cons as a coach. Low accountability. I listed this as a positive thing or a pro for clients. But for a coach, low accountability can be a bad thing. With one-time macro counts, um, there's no accountability. So these clients may not get the best transformation. Um, there is no place to ask questions. Um, there's no extra feedback. There's no support. There's no adjustments of the macros. And so with a lower accountability, you're not going to get as good of a transformation. So don't think that one-time macro counts are going to be something that just blow up your business. Also with low accountability, um, you usually don't get as much of an exchange of a testimony. A one-time macro count is only good for so long. So more than likely, these are very transactional and you may not get a testimony of a client having an amazing transformation. It's kind of like a one and done thing, a high and buy, and you don't hear, hear back from these clients as much. Also, what if they're not the best fit for your clients? And that's because sometimes macros have to be tried on for size. Um, was the data that you got on the front end correct? Do you correctly know how many clients, how many calories your client was eating before they got the one-time macro count? And so what if they try them on for size solo the first week, but they aren't the best fit? Um, that can lead to... Um, low um, transformation quality that can also lead to testimonies that won't be as ideal. Um, you may get some people that email you and go, these macros aren't working for me. Um, but what if they aren't the best fit? That is something we have to take in consideration. And when you're doing a DIY product, and it's really left to the end user to use on their own. It is a risk that you take when it comes to the, reputa the reputation and the testimonies for your business. With one-on-one -on -one coaching, because there's so much communication that's included back and forth, a lot of those macros not being the best fit and then discovering this by week one, two, or three, um, the one-on-one -on -one support, accountability, and communication usually takes care of this. Also, let's say the macros are a pretty good fit 
in the beginning, but how will they ultimately be used? Most people may need in the beginning of receiving new macros, they may need one or two adjustments the first month. And so usually a one-time macro count may only last as long as three to six weeks. Um, are you being clear how these macros need to be used? Um, is there going to be any instruction on what to do if they hit some type of roadblock? Is someone going to purchase these one-time macros for you for a deficit and use them for seven, eight, or nine months? I have seen this definitely happen, but some of the cons as a coach and your reputation is how are they going to be used? Um, also, they can, but not always, lower the value of your one-on-one -on -one coaching or the other programs or services that you offer. Um, there will be people that will be looking for a cheaper priced item, even though the accountability may not be there, and it may devalue some of your other coaching products. If people are trying to return constantly to just get the one-time macro count instead of hiring you for coaching, um, you can have a disclaimer with your one-time macro counts that they can get one or two maximum per year, um, but they can lower the value of coaching, especially if they're not priced correctly. Um, cons that another con that I could think of is price matching. Um, some clients are price matching group coaching programs, one-on-one -on -one subscriptions, um, month to month and one-time macro counts. And so when there are people that are price matching, that may not be the best fit for you overall. Again, the outcome of these one-time macro counts may not result in the best transformation. And so it's one of the things that you have to think about when you are creating a lower price product that becomes done for for you, but they do it as a DIY. Um, the, the cons for the client end, um, what's the end use going to be like? Is the person buying the one-time macro count a complete beginner? Will the macros even work, quote unquote, um, if they don't know how to set them up in macros first app? If they don't know how to track, they don't know how to use a food scale, they don't know how close they need to get to their macros, they've never tracked, um, they don't even know where to start in knowing how much food to eat for the day and correlating um, the foods that they typically eat into a way that helps them hit the macros. When we do this like done for you product and walk away, the end user is left to do it on their own. Um, there's also no feedback and so slight tweaks that can take a client from um, drowning in progress to actually being like your top superstar can come when there's more accountability, more communication and more coaching. But if there's no feedback, it can be a negative experience from a, for a client. And if it's their first one with macro tracking, they may go macro tracking isn't for me. I tried Eve's macros, they didn't work. And it's probably not completely the case because the context is not accurate. But when there's no feedback for someone to be more successful, as opposed to doing it um, with your help, the outcome is definitely going to be different. Um, again, negative experience that can happen for a client is what if the macros aren't the best fit? What if they see them and they're like, I've been eating these calories. I don't think things are going to change. Um, or they may let you know that when they, they may want to let you know that when they're such and such number is a certain number. They tend to feel like this because of health conditions you have. Again, one-on-one -on -one coaching handles this to kind of do that adjustment so that the macros are a better fit. Um, other cons, again, are going to be what if they need help? What if they need support? Um, what if the macros are an amazing fit, but what is the foundation like for the client? Do they need to hit a certain type of requirement to be someone um, that would be successful for a one-time macro account. Those would be some of the things that I would consider that could be cons for someone looking for a one-time macro account. All right, so my overall opinion, what do you think? I think of one-time macro counts. Um, what I will say is we do not do them in our business at this time. And we have not done them, I think, 
think for about three years. And it's mostly because of the cons. But what I will say is if you choose to use them, which we are not, and I will say at this time and never say never again, I would say to charge more and find a way to build in more accountability. And I have some ideas on how you can do that. So most of the cons that I named, we experienced with our one-time macro accounts. So we sought out creating a one-time macro account package that was better and it was elevated so that they could get um, more help, more support, um, still making it affordable, but we wanted to build in more direction so that people could be successful. We also decided to charge more than what other people were doing because when you're comparing a one-time macro account to group coaching, to one-on-one -on -one coaching, those two I items that I named last have more accountability, more structure and run longer, they should get a better deal for more commitment and the price should be higher for less commitment. It's just like if you guys are ordering something on Amazon and you're like ordering one, but if you order in bulk and you're paying for six, they'll show you a discounted price where you save, you know, so many more cents on the dollar and that makes sense. And so we got away from 20 and $25 and $40 one time macro accounts, and we started making them a minimum of $100. And so it actually made it where clients would go, do I want to spend a $100 on a one time macro account, and I've got to figure out everything by myself? Or would it be worth it to do our self-paced program under $300? Sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching under $300 options month to month. Um, it really puts the decision-making process into the hands of the client for them to go, do I need this? So we charged more, we added extras to it. And we wanted to make sure it was fully set apart from our one-on-one -on -one coaching. But once we decided um, to make some tweaks to our one-on-one -on -one coaching, the option that most people chose was our one-on-one -on -one coaching, which actually led to people getting a better result and for the desire for us to pull it from our product suite. But that doesn't mean you won't ever see it pop back up. Um, it's also something that is um, great for people that just get need to get through a certain period of time. So I can't promise you guys you won't ever see them again, but let me tell you how I would do them differently. So of course, like I said, um, having a higher price, but building in more accountability so that people can get a better experience. So let's say you're wanting to do these for a cash injection. You want to help more people. You don't have a lot of time. You don't want a full roster. I would consider one of these options. So one, you could do a one-time macro count with a week of email or a week of messaging, maybe for a price of like 125. And that way, if there's any questions or any feedback that is needed, your client can still get these awesome numbers and any tweaks in that very first week with just miscommunication that may have happened. And you'll probably create a better relationship. You may still get a testimony and someone keeping up and letting you know how things went several months later. Um, also, option number two that I would recommend is maybe doing macros and a getting started call to make it more of a one-time macro consult. So maybe you're getting on a call with them after you take their intake form and you've calculated their macros and you walk them through how to use macros first, how to weigh their food, important beginner things that they may need. Maybe this is something that's packaged more like 199, but like it gets them going, but they've got a lot of these like questions answered that a beginner or an intermediate person might have. And that could be option number two. Um, option number three, if you're wanting to make more money, help more people, 
but um, maybe you are in a place where you've noticed a lot of people don't need long-term coaching, but they need a plan. What about like a four-week coaching accelerator where you are mapping out their plan for them for the next six months? You give them initial macros. They do them. They check in with you at week two. They check in with you at week four. You build out what you would think they would need to do for the next several months and what would be the transition plan out of that plan. And of course, this would be a higher priced option. It might be the cost of what you would charge for one-on-one -on -one coaching for a month, but it can be great for people that can't, that can't afford three months or six months of coaching, or you just don't have the room. Um, not, no, option number four is definitely someone I would recommend for everybody. Again, a higher price, um, and then more accountability, but you could do this with a macro guide that has more guidance, more do's, more don'ts, how long these macros may be needed, what to do next, how long to stay in a deficit, um, things like that. And then maybe it has a coupon code to apply some of what they have paid for towards a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So those would be some options that are more elevated that I would recommend. That was one macro with one week of email or messaging access to um, a macro consult where you walk through a call with them for an hour and answer everything they need to get started. Um, number three, a four-week uh, coaching accelerator package where you're mapping out their plan for the next three to six months. Or number four, where I think all coaches should start with the one-time macro count, is giving them macros plus a very detailed guide of do's and don'ts and extending the opportunity for them to reach out with, to you for coaching in the future and how they can potentially submit a testimony to you, um, even if they just did a one-time macro count so that you're not just doing these cash injections in your business, but you're also getting testimonies to share with other people. So there's more people out there um, learning what you do and how you help people and start to see the value of the one-time macro counts if you choose to do so in your business. Um, if you haven't noticed with this podcast, I love giving you the pros and the cons. I really love being a business coach that doesn't tell you exactly how to do things, but gives you options on how to tweak it so it fits your business, your personality, and your lifestyle. When it comes to nutrition and business coaching, it should not be a one-size-fits-all. And that's something that we definitely offer in macro mentorship with enrollment in the next several days. Um, super huge hint. Um, so enrollment is going to be starting on Monday, October 16th at www.gtransformationacademy.com. If you love the type of help that you got today in our podcast about one-time macro counts, you can definitely experience this type of coaching and mentorship with me and our team of incredible coaches inside of Macro Mentorship. If you guys have any follow-up questions, hit me up at Eve Guzman Official. And if you are a coach and you're interested in Macro Mentorship, I want to say hello and see you soon. You guys have a great day. Thanks for listening to our podcast today. Make sure you like, share, and tag us on Instagram. Also, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future episodes. In the meantime, be healthy and get wealthy.